Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Indian Yoga with Krishna. I am Yoga Guru Krishna. So guys, as you know, we are learning a new yoga pose every day. Today also we are going to learn something new yoga asan. Before that, I wanted to ask you if you are new here, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you will get more video updates. Now, let's talk about what we are learning today. Today we are learning a new yoga asan called Salbhasana or Locust Pose. So before we uh, you know, uh, talk about all these benefits and how to do it, I'll show you one time and then I'll teach you step by step. So don't skip any part and just see. First, I'll show you one time and then we see. We will do it together. Okay, <clears throat> now you see how we it's done. So now you know uh, we do it together step by step. I'll teach you how to breathe in and how I mean how long you can hold your breathe, how long you should hold your position and all that thing. So before that, I'll uh, tell you some information about this one. In this, just lay down on the stomach and then while breathing, lift your lower and upper part together and hold your position seven to ten seconds and hold your breathe too. With position holding, you should hold your breath. You don't breathe out. Just hold your position and you breathe together. So let's, you know, do it with me. So just, you know, come on yoga mat. First, lay down on stomach like this, and <coughs> put your hands side of your body like this. Okay, and then while breathing, just lift your lower and upper part and be there in this position seven to ten seconds. So just breathe in and hold this position for 7 to 10 seconds at least. Hold your breath too. And then slowly breathe out and go down. Let's do one more time. Try to keep your head up and keep your hands like this only in air don't put like this one just hold here in air and then slowly breathe out and relax okay <coughs> now you learn how to do it now let's talk about how long you can hold and how many times you can do it if you're starting it then do it at least three times not more than three or not less than three three to five you can do it five times also but don't hold your breath more than 10 seconds and if you think you can hold your breath more than 10 seconds is good but try to be comfortable whenever you feel uncomfort holding your breathing your position then just you know come down your first position so that's it and now let's talk about what is the main benefit of doing this locust pose or salvasana the first benefit of uh, doing this locust pose is it's you know cure your back pain and it gives flexibility to your spine and it's also cure your slip disc and then uh, also it's you know uh, give full body toning like when you're just you know, lifting your legs your hands and your upper part all them it's all together give you full body toning it's also you know remove some extra fat to your thighs your calf and your shoulder and when you're doing it it's you know kind of open your chest so you have any kind of problem regarding chest or you know or lungs or heart it also cure there so this is the main benefit uh, now let's talk about who should not do it first who's having any kind of you know uh, stomach uh, surgery please avoid it pregnant woman please avoid it uh, and you know if you have any uh, kind of major injury into your shoulder then just please avoid it and rest you can ask your doctor you know consult them and then you can do it so that's all about today is this asana tomorrow we'll do some new asana also and uh, i wanted to ask you one more time if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe this channel so you will get more video updates see you tomorrow with a new yoga post till then bye bye thank you